Hi and welcome to my kitchen where today we're going to be making some WWW w, Rocky Road Bites. Now this recipe is on the card this week is the WW Workshop Weekly um, and it's also from the Comfort Cookbook as well so if you've got the Comfort Cookbook already you'll be able to see the recipe inside. So let's get going then. So this is a nice sweet treat ready for trick or treating. It's three points per square. So first of all we need 50 grams of low fat spread. That's 50 grams of low fat spread already in here. And then we need 150 grams of dark chocolate. Now that 150 grams looks like this so it's almost one whole big bar of dark chocolate so what i'm going to do is pop that in with the butter in my big bowl and i'm going to put that now in the microwave so let's pop that in the microwave to melt it all up and make it go all gooey ready to add our other ingredients now while that's in the microwave um, I will be showing you what else we're going to add. So I've got here some low fat rich tea biscuits or reduced fat rich tea biscuits and these are 70 grams and we only need one more ingredient and that ingredient is some WW marshmallows. So this is just a little packet of marshmallows or oh, I can hear it sizzling already in the microwave. So let's just uh, mix that up. I am quite surprised that the recipe says to put the chocolate and the butter in together because obviously I know that the low fat spread will melt faster than the butter. So I'm just mixing that together. Obviously if you were doing some very traditional cooking, you'd get yourself a bambouri, wouldn't you? And you'd uh, slowly let that chocolate and butter melt. But to save time, uh, we are using the microwave, so we'll now put that back in. Oh, so tempting to lick the spoon. <laughs> I won't though, I won't. So let's put that back in the microwave. Okay, so those are the only two, the two ingredients I'm gonna add, is the low fat rich tea biscuits and the marshmallows. I can see that we've got some people watching. Hi everybody, welcome to this recipe. It is gonna be delicious. Now the reason I'm making it is not because I wanna eat it, it's because I want to show you the portion size because a lot of these recipes, remember when they have got rich point, rich ingredients in, you do need to be taking note of the portion control because this recipe makes 20 bites and they're three points each. So if you were to have the whole tray, yep, 60 points for the whole tray so you have to be really really careful i wouldn't make this if you live on your own and you've got nobody coming around you need to have preparations in order to get rid of this stuff so you're not going to sit there and eat the lot right so that should be ready my microwave has ping oh lovely look at this great so so I put it on a total there of one and a half minutes. The recipe does say one minute, but my chocolate had been in the fridge. So I know that it would need a little bit more than before. Just, oh, look at that. The smell is divine, absolutely divine, okay? So that is my chocolate and low fat spread. And then my 70 grams of low fat rich tea biscuits. I have already smashed them up, so they're already smashed into little bits. And what I'm going to do is simply pour that mixture, I hope I've crushed them up enough, into my chocolate mixture. And again, just mix that around. <laughs> Such a simple recipe, but you know it's gonna taste amazing. Oh wow! I could just eat this like this. <laughs> Ooh, the smell is delightful. And then what we're going to do is add the marshmallows. Now I want to save some marshmallows for the topping, so make sure you don't put them all in. So just. 
I'm going to save that much. So about a third of the bag, I'm going to save for the top there. So you can see that I'm now coating the biscuits and the marshmallows with everything. And I'm actually really surprised at how gooey it is. I thought there wasn't going to be enough mixture for everything, but actually, woohoo, that looks delightful. Now, I had two baking trays ready. One was, it says 18 centimetres squared. One of them is about 12 centimetres squared. And the other one is like 15 by 30. So I've decided I'm gonna go for the smaller one. And obviously they will be thicker bites. So I'm just gonna try and crush some of the bigger biscuits that I've got here. I want it to be, obviously I've got to cut this as well afterwards, so if you make sure all your biscuits are crushed, obviously they will absorb all the liquid as well. So, I'm now going to, I want to show you what I'm doing. Let me put it here. Okay, so I'm now just going to pour my mixture into the tray. I'm just going to do the rest of it off camera so I don't spill it all over the floor. But again, remember, I know some children are off this week. If you've got the children off next week, a really nice, easy recipe. And as I said earlier, if this portion size is going to be too much for you and you know you're not going to eat it, then it would be great to obviously half or quarter the recipe and that way you aren't going to use everything up or you are going to use everything up should I say. Right so now I have my lovely mixture in this bowl and I'm going to push it to the edges. Dun, dun, dun. Mm, smells nice. Oh Bev's watching. Yes Bev you're not coming to the meeting tomorrow. Shame about that. <laughs> right, so then we're going to finish off by... I just throw them on? No, I don't really want to throw them on, do I? I want to place them on nicely. So let me put them in my hand first. I'll put them on my hand first. What I'd really like to do if I had time... Have you got time? Let's put one of these on each piece. So there's 20 servings here. So if I go along with, and do five, I'll try and make it colourful as well. Three, four, obviously I've got far too much time on my hands. I've, I've got enough time to count marshmallows. Um, and six. I'm obviously trying to change the colour around as well. I can see Sadie's watching. Hi Sadie, welcome to the live video. And dun, dun, dun. Yes, if you've made something similar to this, everyone, please feel free to comment. If you have got the uh, cookbook, Comfort Cookbook, I would love for you to share with me what has been your favourite recipe out of it so far. Right, so as I said, this recipe requires... Oh, I put the wrong one in the wrong place. This recipe requires 20 portions. So I have now put 20 marshmallows on top of this. So therefore bear in mind when you're eating this, and I'll pop this in the fridge by the way for one hour or until it's cool and that is ready to go. So bear in mind for three points, you could only eat one of those marshmallow points. Um, so that was a really nice trick. If I thought about that before, I would have saved just 20 of these ready to do that little thing. So at the end, I'm going to cut that up. And if you're coming to my meetings uh, tomorrow and Friday, I will be bringing a piece, one piece along to show you the portion size. If you would like the recipe, feel free to come along to any of the Weight Watchers workshops this week. Tomorrow morning, I'll be in Mickleover at 9.45 with Diane and then in Spondon at 6pm on Friday at 5pm in Alphaston.
that's it for now. For more details of my studios and workshops, simply, simply search Facebook for WW Jody. That's it. Bon appetito.